here's the Windows Tech channel. I'm actually very freaking excited to do this because you want to know something I'm doing tonight? Hold on just a minute. I don't need this. Sorry. <laughs> Firefox is being not responsive and, it, and I expect it to. Oh my god, I am actually really excited about this. On the Internet Archive, we just unveiled Yeah, my computer is freakishly slow and it's not supposed to be. We have finally unveiled 1998 Windows 98 Packard Bell CDs that I that I tested and they work. Now, unfortunately, I kind of sidewiped my PC for a little project I'm, I was doing on here. I was fortunate enough to leave this, but with all of my virtual machines gone, Except for these two. So, what are we doing tonight? Tonight, we are going to, you guessed it, run the Packard Bell Windows 98 recovery CD on Windows 98. First thing you see, I have my USB in. Alright, I do not have my USB in. So, wherever I might have put it, I will... Pop that in now because I'm gonna need it. Alright, I decided to go ahead and scooch this in a little bit. So, yeah, we're gonna be doing a Packard Bell when in Virtual PC 2007 from 1998. This one, I believe, is um, this is the Packard Bell um, 12709. As well, I'll have a look here. This is a 1998 PC. Well, this PC in the background is like, is a 2011 PC. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, yeah. But, um... Enough chitter chat, I really want to get into this. So let's go ahead and make a create let's go ahead and make a new virtual machine. I already have one made I already have one set up, but I just want I want to do this in front of you. And I'm gonna have the internet archive pull it in if there's a URL if you want it. I'm gonna have the internet archive pull it all the time. Although I think we're gonna be in full screen most of the time. Or something close to it. Create a virtual machine. I'm gonna be naming it well actually. Excuse me. Oops. Hang on, and just. <laughs> there we go. Packet bubble 172209. Right, let's go ahead and. This is a Windows 98 machine. And we're going to keep the RAM because. You got to do that. 64 megabytes is the appropriateness of this. New virtual hard disk. Now, I'm granted a normal Packard Bell 998 machine would be like eight eight gigabytes, but you know it's virtual machine. Reality can be whatever we want, so we're gonna make it a 40 gigabyte hard drive. Or actually, no. Uh, let's take it a 50 gigabyte hard drive. So, so make the virtual hard drive size 50,000 megabytes. And finish. I know that, um, I actually know that Lazy Game, I know that Lazy Game Reviews has one of these, uh, Packard Bell Windows 98 machines. I believe it's the Packard Bell Model 955 that runs Windows 98. So, first thing we're going to be doing, well, first of all, we need to start the machine over here. First thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be, um, running AppDisk. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I'm running low on space. So I'm not losing space on the USB. So we're just gonna be needing the uh, Windows 98 second edition boot image. All right, so we're just gonna be starting without the CD-ROM support. So option number two. Now it says that Windows 98 has detected a drive so it does not contain a bell of fat or fat 32 position, that's normal. Um, we're doing this because insert a disk now and you would actually need to format the disk inside the thing. So, you know, this is kind of the safe time. And the reason I'm doing Virtual PC Town 7, as I said earlier, I no longer have a uh, VMware. Something like that. So on that disk, we're going to create a DOS partition. Parameters partition, and let that go. Now the reason I chose this disc instead of the August 1998 one I also found is because um, this this particular cracked disc has the has the uh, video driver support on it. Well, whilst the other one doesn't. All right, so let's go ahead and make the maximum available size. And I also like, yeah, I might transmit ISO to USB because, you know, I, I mean, this is perfect, man. For a long time, I've been searching for these Packard Bell Windows 1990, Windows 98 uh, recovery disks, crack disks. And it's just, and they just happened to pop up on the Internet Archive and, and I'm, I'm happy. This is what I've this is this is what I've been dreaming of. Let's go ahead and uh, exit that disc. All right, so we're just gonna. How do I how, wait, how do I send control delete here? Oh, right, alt delete. So, um, actually, I have I have a gut feeling it may do it, but just to be safe. Right, and you still gotta start without CD-ROM support because if you even have the CD-ROM in and you have the Windows 98 uh, boot disk in there, it would just boot to the floppy first. So let's go ahead and run the front. I don't know why it's not quick formatted, but yeah. This part actually takes a while, so I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, let's go ahead and just, you know, um, volume label, let's just have it at Packard, because you know, why not? And then I believe that's it. So we're good to go with the in here so let me go ahead and head into my downloads and pop this one in. this one did it, now the tablet actually does not the um proper val the proper val excuse me the proper video drivers this one actually does so, so i rather prefer that one and i do not think we need the floppy anymore so let's go ahead and release it and send control delete And, and here we go, it's starting Windows 98. Now the runtime error is normal. Setting up the restore. All right, and now it's just gonna create directories here. There should be less than 10 error counts in here. Like I think the maximum is three or something like that. 
And this part, yeah, this part does not go fast either, like, you know. But let me tell you how long I've been looking for these recovery lists. Oh. Uh, yeah, I also popped them on, um, I also popped them on a USB drive. That way I would have good use for them. Yeah, they're there. But anyway, any expense. But any expense, um, yeah, the error count, the errors that, the error that transfer are normal in here. So let me give you my little experience on, um, other PCs I use this arm. So on my Gateway MX6448, this would not work at all. Like, it would just stay at the runtime error, or something like that. The IBM ThinkPad T43, um, it, once again, it actually refused to boot from disk at all anymore. Like, I think the DVD drive in the T43 is dead. So I'm going to need to get a new T43 DVD drive. So that's, that's not going to be inexpensive. And for my, um, 1999 Gateway PC, which I still need to make a video about, which I still need to post a video about, I haven't recorded, I just need to upload it. Um, it works most of the way, but it's a well, little after you, you recover the system and it goes to, um, one portion of it. Like, I'm not going to spoil it, but, um, the files wouldn't cop, the files wouldn't copy properly. So right now on my, um, so right now on my, uh, 1999 Gateway PC, I currently have Windows XP Home Edition on there, it's that being service back one of Windows XP. And that's basically because I just need something on it to get off of the bug gate, um, I mean the bug to Patrick Bell. And I believe this, and I believe the Patrick Bell 1998 machines were the last of the Packer Bills to be released in the United States before going back to its original um, origin country, which I, which I believe um, is somewhere in the Dutch region. I know it's not Poland because Poland has their own language, like Polish. I forget which regions are Dutch, but I believe they are Dutch owners of, um, of, um, Acer now, and I actually have run Packer Bell iMedia's on, um, the HP Slimline before I got the Compact Bizarro CQ500F, which is the computer I'm running on right now. The CQ500F is a, um, Windows 7 machine. I mean, the Windows 7, um, Home Premium, 64-bit. Um, anyways, you are now here at this screen, the Packer Bell Master CD Restore System. This CD is designed to help you recover your system if you are having problems. If you are not experiencing any problems, you should remove the Master Restore CD from the CD-ROM drive and restart the system. Now, the quick recovery is disabled because the VHD has not been formatted yet. Well, technically it has been formatted, but not for the system. You get... Restore system, which it'll format this as a hard drive, reinstall Windows, since diagnostics, or just exit. Alright, so we're just going to do the restore system. And then you'll see this warning your battery said you could be to default factory settings. Alright, so just erase all data, and now. But the product key for this thing, since that's the only thing, since that's the only thing I will tell you for the spoiler, it will ask for your product key. Um, just search up Windows 98 OEM product key on Google, and it will, and just pop in, pop it in to the uh, product key slot. Uh, it has to be any OEM ones. Um, retail boxes I don't think work, and they can be either first or second edition. 
Rich Sneakermix says, Now's a great time to ensure that you have your Microsoft Windows 98 getting started. Handy. And since this thing obviously does not have VMware tools, or excuse me, um, what's it called? Virtual Machine Editions. New mouse I have has to, um, I have to press a certain button for it to get back into the OS. Let me tell you a little about this uh, CD500 while I'm at it. Um, 4 gigs of RAM, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which has got like 60 gigs left on SATA. Um, and as I just mentioned, um, Windows 7 Home Premium, but no service packs. You have to install Service Pack 1 manually. And let me tell you, let me tell you this as well. This, the Windows 7 in the background is actually a factory install, and I do have the recovery media for it, which I probably, which I probably will be performing a factory reset of Windows 7 soon. Facing the fact that, you know, I have so much stuff on this computer and I really want to start fresh again. And, yeah, it's, you know. Oh, and it's now April 18th, 2020, where I'm at. It just turned to midnight. I think I started there at like 11.20 or something like that. <laughs> I don't really know. But, um, yeah. Well, the reason I didn't want to time lapse this video is because I just. It's. For one thing, I don't like how it zooms back out to, um, 1x on here when, when you know, the video was zoomed in. I don't like how it just zooms back out to this one next one, you know, the video is zoomed in but, um, prior to time lapsing, so, yeah, that's just one thing I don't like about on the iPhone camera when they're time lapsing. You can have that or a, or a 0.5x, which, which, going back, which zooming out from, zooming out from 1x on there, on the iPhone 11 camera is awesome. Transfer complete. The system is now in Linux Windows 98 setup. Please remove the master CD from the CD ROM drive. Press enter and restart your system and continue. It says, errors were occurred during the transfer. I tested this on the VM hours ago. And once again, I can confirm that this still works no matter what. Let's so restart. First alarm. Oh. I probably would not. Okay. Um. Here we go with the Windows 98 setup. Alright, now this is the part on my 1999 Gateway PC where it just where it just completely uh screwed itself over. Or, or excuse me, um, it completely just killed itself over. At the um at the part where it copies files to the computer. Which I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's my hard drive, maybe it's my Maybe, yeah, um, yes. Here we are. File copy progress. Yeah, this is the part where, you know, like I said, this is the part where it screws itself over on the, uh, gateway PC. But, it works on VMs. And, and let's say before the 6 before 8 well, the 6448 does take a vanilla install of, um, Windows 98. It does not take, um, Packard Bell crack disks, apparently. That's the one thing that I'm really baffled about. So, I'm just really surprised that I have a working, um, that I have a working, uh, virtual machine like this, and... I'm pretty sure this will work in Hyper-V, VMware, and VirtualBox. I haven't tested it on those yet since I only have a virtual PC to download on them. Which is one of the more reliable ones, but what I don't like about virtual PC to download is that you can't go to Windows 10. I, I believe the max you can go is Windows Vista. I think I tried Windows 7 on 
virtual PC 2074, and I think it works okay. Yeah, um, I actually try on virtual PC 2007 and Windows 7. It's okay, it's just decent, it's just really buggy. And then, yeah, I don't think it works, I don't think Windows 8 works on virtual PC 2007. Alright, so uh, it's just almost done here. Now, um, now with that being said, the crack disk from Windows 98 Packer Bell is literally my first step into, is literally, is, is literally just gives me one step closer to having an actual Packer Bell from 1998. I would really love to have a 1998 Packer Bell machine, you know, like the 955. So if anybody has a Nike 98 Packer Bell they're willing to part with, that's cheap. And has a hard drive and all the components of it. You can gladly send them my way, I will, or just DM me somewhere. First I actually want to see the setup. Yeah, alright, so, for those of you wondering, this is the, um, for those of you wondering, this is the, um, Virtual PC 2007 BIOS. So, the BIOS build date is February 22nd, 2006. It is... 8.012 and <laughs> yeah it, it yeah the date and time goes by the um com the computer time and date oh yeah um boot device priority yes boot de yeah first boot device is the flop v so that's basically what i meant by that so i don't know why i did that but <laughs> I, I guess I just wanted to show you. So it's getting ready to run Windows for the first time. And I will need to turn my speaker down. Alright, please say it will set up updates or configuration files. Now, now, when I first got here, I initially thought that it was, that I initially thought it was far stuff, kind of. Or that might have been the August Night Night build, not this build. I could be wrong in either way. But yeah, it's just now setting up hardware and stuff. So just let it do its thing here and... I mean, this really doesn't take that long depending on what um, hardware you're on. I mean, I can, I can get, I can get VMware back. I'm just not really fond of VMware that much. I mean, one thing, I kind of do like VMware, but I just, I just don't want it back for a while. All right, so. Oh, the sun ring, new one, yeah, um, now it's just updating system settings. Yeah, I kind of like, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like the drums in the background, you know?
So, uh, yeah, it's just going now. It's just, it's almost real slow. Alright, it'll reboot again. This time I will leave to the uh, desktop. This time I believe to the desktop. But it's not going to be the complete desktop yet. Yeah, it's going to do that again. Please, I will set up days or configuration files. Continuing with all the windows. Now, as I look around on eBay a lot, I kind of constantly find some new OEM um, computers from brands that I don't even think would do OEM stuff. They would do like other stuff. Like, I think I saw a Motorola computer with Windows XP on it. And Motorola doesn't even do computers for the most part. Like, I don't even think they're known for doing that. I think they're known for, like, oh, I don't know. Um. Anyways, um, here we go with this. You're not done yet. Maybe we'll figure it out, but you're not in auditing mode. But in auditing mode. What's it doing in the background, actually? You'll see in a small bit. I like the default channels on the side. So that's nice. It. Yep, there you go. It is installing all the applications. This part does take a while too, but um, I know you guys are gonna be thinking, why is this not full screen? Uh, it's, I don't wanna go on the basis of my channel, my rules stuff, but um, I'll put a little dog for you, it's just... <sighs> it's just that I'm kind of not... Wanting, I'm kind of lazy to make it full screen right now. Yeah, it's got all the quick and basics. Yeah, I think the downside is that I think there would still be a tiny bit of blow fire on it. But, um... I guess we'll just have to see once we get into the desktop, you know? And it's got in the uh, box experience files. Now, I get that if you're on a virtual machine, this might not take too long. Back on support side file. Yeah, uh, that's not really taking that long, you know? Maybe not. And you get, yeah, this is the only bit of off. Now, um, you do get some Office 9, 97 on here, but you only get Word 97 if memory serves. You don't get Excel, Access, Outlook, PowerPoint. You only get Word. But that, that doesn't matter, right? All we need is, um, all we need is that one. Are they registered for Word 97? Yeah, Cyber Coach, all that good stuff. Um, you can, you know, um, I'm not sure how they were able to crack the um, back of Bell Windows 98, but I remember the king of crack and recovery discs said it was impossible. Well, to Voyon Bar, this pr this video basically proves that it is not impossible to crack a Packer Bell Windows 98 recovery disk. Oh 
way uh, Microsoft works. I'm not sure why any and all OEM brand would like to install Microsoft Works. I mean, um, isn't that just a bit of bloatware? Also, um, Project 98? Yeah, oh yeah. Some of this stuff is cool, just saying. Easy tools, really a player. We might, we might be done here soon. Common system user files. You know all the good stuff? So yeah, um, if you want to save time at the start of the recovery process, just use a Windows 98 boot disk to um, get the C drive ready by formatting it. Now, you can try this on actual hardware, but um, given my experiences, it's not really that recommended, and I recommend you do this on a virtual machine just to be safe. If you have, um, if your computer can support virtual machining, I might give this a shot on Virtual PC 2004 on my 999 Gateway PC. Considering that one of the files, considering one of the files on my ongoing USB drive I had since like last year or something like that. Indie does relate to the uh Indie does relate to the uh what's it called? I'm trying to figure out what it is here. Um oh yeah, virtual PC town four. Yeah, um, pack up those Sherm files, is that, that's the long one, I think. I like the top one where it says, Computer Installation in Progress. Oh, yeah, that's, um, <laughs> that's my computer file, that's my computer mouse. Yeah, and then you got, um, LGR. Like, War in 97 clip art. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, um, a bunch of clip arts. Who remembers uh, Microsoft Word clip arts anyway? I'm just curious. Yeah, I don't know why this one's thing ever installed as well. I really don't. The reason I left it on, kind of, the reason I want you guys to see the whole version of the install, minus the formatting part, at the start, you know, when I use a Windows 98 boot disk, is because I want you guys to see, like, the full version of the packet file restoration, circa 98. I think Jay Wayfield did another version of this, but it was with a Dutch PC, and the out-of-box experience was way, 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 way different than what we got going on here. Yep, there you go. Um, Windows is shutting down. Oh. So, um, the thing updated, and here we go. Um, welcome. Thank you for choosing a Packer Bell computer. Your system includes a Packer Bell tour, an, in an introduction to a variety of resources available in your system. 
Please take a few minutes now to register your hardware and software. This will assist us this will assist us in providing technical support and work to service should you ever need it. Press the key and follow the on-screen instructions. Alright, let's do that. And I'm leaving it out like this because this is the proper video drivers part that I mentioned earlier. Um, all right, here we go. So we hear we hear the setup wizard. So first thing I ask, first thing I ask is your name. All right. I totally read and understood the agreement there. <laughs> all right, let me go get the product here real quick. All right, so right there, I just using Windows ninety eight S E O E M product key, and it worked. Um, obviously you can use, uh, you can use second edition on first edition. I just proved it. Um, yeah, but anyways, I'm um, going and press finish. And, you know, you can change, you can leave it, but I'm going to change it. To my name, just to kind of make it easier. Alright, so, okay. And, I will show you the Packer Bell Welcome. Here we go. Thank you for buying a Packard Bell computer. We've included some special features to help you get the most out of your new machine. If you've already taken this tour, just click on the Don't Show Me Again button. In the lower right of the screen, you'll find the Navigator Assistant. This convenient group of buttons lets you access some of the most important features on your computer, like the Packard Bell Support Center. The Support Center is an extensive collection of online support tools. By consulting the Packard Bell Support Center, you can often answer a question without having to call technical support. Your Packard Bell computer also includes a lot of other fun and useful internet products and services, including Microsoft Internet Explorer. Before you get started using your computer, there are a couple things you should do. We recommend that you register your computer with us, so if you have any problems, we'll already have information about your system. And be sure to sign up for the Internet. This will allow you to take full advantage of Internet Explorer, Lifeline, and other exciting offers included with your system. You only need to sign up to the Internet once. We invite you to start exploring each feature of your new computer, and encourage you to begin by viewing all the information in the Support Center. This will introduce you to all the support tools and features available on your system. Just click on the Support Center button on the Navigator Assistant. To view this tour again, click on the Tour button. Alright, there you go. Um, yeah, we're not going to register this. This is obviously like, what, 22 years old? Packet, uh, and Packet Bell's not even common in the United States anymore. Alright, you're not ready to use your Packet Bell computer? Click here, so yes. And then uh, two more things, a master backup. Um, yes, this is the, um, yes, this is um, the basic factory image backup, stuff like that. And system configuration, and I believe that'll be it. Yeah, check and drive C. Yeah, please, let, yeah, system configuration, and Yes, we're done.
right, so right, I'm gonna go in and show you. Yep, back bell. Yep, um, four ten ninety. Yeah, October fourth, nineteen ninety eight. So yeah, uh, this is an October nineteen ninety eight disc. Um, yeah, um, you got the AMD one seventy U processor, authentic AMD pack of bell, the support information. So yeah, um, what do I have is like called the phone number today, but yeah, um, so this is actually kind of neat, um. You know, what do you want to change this? That's where you, that's where this comes in. Navigator Assistant. Click on wallpaper. Yes, this is the wallpaper I'd rather prefer, so we're going to keep it like this. Um, clicking, I think that might be bloatware. MSN 2020, so what the hell. What do you mean special offer? From AT&T. I think I'm gonna just get rid of registration. I don't even know why it's there. But, um, yeah, we got 48.8 GP. I think we might have, yeah, um, yeah, um, that's not gonna do anything. Um, but anyway, we're done. So, if you guys had a, so, I think you guys now have a basic understanding on how to use a Packard Bell recovery disk in Virtual PC 2007. It has to be the cracked disk, else it will not work. Now, one of the first things I'm going to do is install um, Virtual Tools Edition, so that, yeah, excuse me, Virtual Machine Editions, so that way I can get the full experience on here, kind of, and let the computer mouse be integrated with the Packer Bell mouse. Alright, peace out.